In this video we build a powerful 50 Nm force feedback steering wheel to pair with the pedals I built in my last video to hopefully get a premium, realistic and fun sim racing experience. I will cover everything from uh, building the wheelbase, connecting the electronics and constructing the F1 style steering wheel to hopefully get uh, a setup comparable to $1000 ones for a much cheaper price. Everything will be built out of 4mm plywood sheets from which the various parts can be cut using a laser engraver. Like for the pedal set you can find the PDF plans in the link below, as well as the DXF files in case you want to cut them with a laser engraver. After cutting all the parts we can finish them with some sanding and glue them together to form the complete base structure. We can start populating the base by mounting the 10 to 1 planetary gearbox using a couple of M5 screws and washers. This will uh, reduce the high RPM of the motor and drastically increase its torque for the most realistic experience. Before continuing with the build we can fire up the 3D printer and print the necessary parts, which files you can also find uh, in the link below. The first uh, 3D printed part needed is this uh, shaft adapter to connect the 14mm gearbox uh, output shaft to the steering wheel via the standard 6 bolt pattern. This component has uh, a 45 teeth GT2 pulley integrated into it, which will couple the steering wheel with the rotatory encoder that can be mounted in place after fixing a 20 teeth GT2 pulley on its output shaft. We can proceed by taking the 24 volts 350 watts motor and remove its mounting plate, since I found it's not precise enough for a reliable mounting interface. With the plate removed, we can take this 3D printed collar and securely fix the motor in place after pressing this aluminum adapter on the shaft to reduce the 10 mm diameter to 8 mm. A huge thanks goes to PCBWay for providing this machined aluminum adapter. PCBWay is my go-to website for on-demand, high-quality fabrication, from custom PCBs to 3D printed or CNC machined metal parts. They offer competitive prices and fast turnaround times, so check them out at the link below. With that, the wheelbase mechanics uh, is finished and we can move on building the actual F1 style steering wheel. For that we'll need a couple of laser cut 4mm plywood plates, which will make for the main structure, and also a bunch of 3D printed parts to make the grips and shifters. First we can uh, attach the grips with 4 and 4 screws and fix the needed 3D printed spacer on its back side. We can proceed by building the magnetic paddle shifters. We can start by pressing some M3 steel rods in this hole in the shifter lever to make it magnetic. We can continue by soldering some wires to the normally open and common terminal of a limit switch and we can insert it inside the case. We can then insert the lever and place a 10 by 30 mm magnet in this slot. The paddle itself can then be screwed on the lever with a couple of self-tapping screws. And we can see the amazingly smooth action and a nice click we can achieve thanks to the magnetic spring. We can then repeat the steps to build the other shifter and we can screw them to the steering wheel using some more M4 screws. The front plate can then be mounted on together with all the necessary buttons, gluing them in place. Thank you. 
everything will be controlled by this Arduino Leonardo, which will take the signal from the encoder and run the motor accordingly. The motor is driven by a pair of BTS7960 motor controllers wired up in parallel to distribute the 60 amps of max current drawn from the motor. Despite this high burst current, the motor will normally draw about 18 amps, so we can use a 20 amp 24 volts power supply to power it. The last thing needed is the custom PCB from PCBWay, which will allow us to connect the pedals using an Ethernet cable. I will not explain all the connections, but you can find a very detailed wiring diagram at the link below. Before calling this project finished, there's just one thing I need to do. Much better. The wheel is now finished and working very nicely. It looks uh, amazing and uh, I have already used it uh, a bunch of hours in Assetto Corsa and I'm very impressed with it. The force feedback is ridiculously strong, so much so that the plastic adapter I 3D printed got destroyed. So I had to change it for this uh, awesome looking aluminum 3D printed one from PCBWay. Because of this high power I also had to lower the gain to about 30%. This eliminates completely any risk of clipping and the high power allows for fast accelerations, which make for a more realistic feeling. The overall feeling is very nice, but uh, I feel it could be a bit better, mainly because uh, it's not uh, a direct drive uh, steering wheel. Still, I think it's much better than any entry-level steering wheel available on the market, considering its price point of around $400, including the pedals. If you are interested on uh, how to configure it and uh, how to use it with Assetto Corsa, I will make another video showing everything about the firmware and all the settings inside the game. Anyway, that's it for this video, happy racing!